Hi, and welcome. One.io is the world's first subscription-based integration hub to connect your IT and business services with your customers, service providers, and applications. In the next session, I will walk you through an IT process running through three applications, ServiceNow, Atlassian Jira, and Zendesk. After that, we will have a look at the One.io user interface to see how it was all set up and configured. So let's get started. Uh, I have my ServiceNow instance open. As you can see, I'm logged in as a change manager and I am going to create a new change request, uh, requesting for an SAP BI upgrade. Uh, and I am going to assign it to our ERP support and I am going to save the change request. And later on, when we will have a look at the One.io user interface, you will notice that the assignment group ERP support was the trigger for this uh, specific use case. Immediately, we are able to see that an integration message was sent. We were able to get back a correlation ID, demo 571, and we are able to see that a ticket was successfully created in Jira. Uh, jumping into Jira and having a look at the specific ticket, uh, we are able to see that a ticket was created uh, in Jira. Uh, we also got the external ID from ServiceNow. And I'm just going to assign it to myself to stop the classic SLA clock uh, at this stage. And I'm going to ask uh, a question back, for example, what version are you currently running? And assign. It has been assigned to me. Um, and jumping back to ServiceNow, we are immediately able to see that the state has been changed into work in progress. And the notes came back, what version are you currently running? Um, obviously, this is a silly question. And you know, I, as a change manager, I might be a bit frustrated about the question. And I'm just going to write something back in local, local language. Uh, just going to write something in Finnish. Uh, And I totally forgot that our corporate language was English. Uh, jumping back to Jira, refreshing Jira. We are able to see that the information, uh, the original message, Sinun se pitäisi tietää, was translated to English, you should know it. In this example, we're just using uh, Google APIs to identify the language uh, that is coming from, and we are translating it to English. Just to give you an example of, of, of taking data in, uh, being able to, to, to alter it, to change it, and then to push it, push it through, and then, of course, to store the original records that are, that are transferred. Um, in this example, I'm a, obviously, I'm a bit embarrassed. I should have known it, um, so I'm just going to assign it to our support team, and I'm going to ask them, can you check what version the customer is running. Assign. And just to visualize, the source system was, in the beginning was ServiceNow, and we are now showing information uh, from Zendesk. So the message have, has gone from place A to B, and from B to C, and then back from C to A. Uh, all these endpoints in this example, they are isolated. We are not installing anything to any of these instances, but we are able to reflect and show the information uh, back uh, wherever the use case requires it. Um, so can you check what version the customer is running? Uh, going to Zendesk, we are able to see that, hey, there has been a request form from ERP support regarding an SAP BI upgrade. Um, can you check what version the customer is running? Uh, now the customer is running version xx123456.7 and I'm just going to submit it as solved from our side because it's done uh, from our, our side. Um, and having a look at it in Jira, uh, we are of course uh, able to see that the resolution in Jira is still unresolved. 
we haven't done the SAP BI upgrade, even though we handled the, 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 the support ticket regarding it. So we are able to see that the customer is running version X6123456.7. Uh, and here it's the same example. When we go back to service now, we are also able to see it as a kind of a glass floor perspective to see all the information that has been transferred uh, within this specific process. So escalation was returned from Zendesk to Jira. The customer is running version X6123456.7. Uh, great. Just to fix this, um, let's assume I have done the SAP BI upgrade and I'm going to fix it. Uh, upgraded to version X6123456.7.8. And it's, of course, the latest version done. We are able to see resolution was went to fixed, status is done. Uh, and yeah, uh, one thing that I forgot to show you is uh, attachments, of course. So attachments are quite crucial. So I'm just going to throw in an attachment to Jira. And we are able to see that the attachment was successfully added. Uh, going back to service now, we're able to see it already. It's already here in real time, uh, being able to, to then open the attachment from the other side. Uh, yeah, and here we can also see that the state is closed complete. Um, in Jira, it had a totally different status. Um, so that's, that's okay. Uh, it's no, no problem. Great. So now we have walked through a brief use case going through three different systems. Uh, now let's have a look at how this was all set up, how it was configured in the OneIO user interface and what information we are able to see there. So the first thing opening up the OneIO user interface um, is the message view. Um, if I click on the message view, I am able to see all the messages that were th transferred through the integration. Uh, from ServiceNow, change request, uh, the timestamps, the dates, uh, when those messages were, were th transferred. Uh, clicking on a message, I'm able to see the target system that is sending out information through their APIs. Uh, those of you who have worked with Jira know that it's, it's pushing all the information uh, through. And this is the information that we wanted to transfer to the target system. Uh, we can also open a conversation view uh, just to visualize uh, the whole workflow of this specific, uh, specific change request or, or ticket that we have walked through. So uh, it was created in ServiceNow. It went back to Jira, uh, fetching the correlation ID, uh, transferring the notes, the information, creating it. And then we walked through back and forth, exchanging some, some notes. We assigned it at some point to Zendesk. It was successfully created, came back. And uh, this is the information, or this is the workflow uh, that we just walked through. Uh, I'm also able to dig into the message details of, of each individual task, uh, what we did. And as we can see here now, uh, we have a service now, change request, and we have used a rule, which was to create an update from ServiceNow to Jira. Uh, clicking on the rule, I'm able to see that the source system, in this example, ServiceNow, the source entity type was change request, and the target system was Jira, and there it was task. In the beginning of the, the session, I explained, or I told you that the trigger was the assignment group. And if we look at the conditions, uh, we are able to see that the attribute assignment group should equal ERP support. And after that, it triggers these mappings. So we have a source system where we have demo, three, number, short description, description, and in the source system, or sorry, in the target system, we have uh, different fields for these. So we aren't forcing into any data model. Uh, ServiceNow has short description, 
Jira in this example has field summary. So it's totally okay. Uh, it's just about knowing the use case and then mapping those fields um, into the one user interface. There are of course uh, other rules and, 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 and things that, it, that we are able to do here, but this is just to scratch the surface of the user interface. Uh, what it technically requires to add the specific endpoints is um, we need to have credentials, obviously, for the specific endpoint, a username and a password, and it will be uh, verified by a token. Uh, depending on the system, for example, ServiceNow, it's uh, an update set that is put into ServiceNow, uh, the credentials into the one your user interface, and basically, technically, after that, you're you're up and up and running and ready to start defining that specific use case. Um, so we already had a look at the at one of the rules that we used uh, uh, in that specific use case, which was from uh, create an update from service now to Jira. But this is basically the place where you can store the rules uh, that you have created, the business logics between the process that you are running. Um, you can iterate on these. So there is, uh, for example, version control that we are able to handle. We are having uh, one active version. Uh, we can always roll back. We can have multiple. I think there's, yeah, here we have, uh, we have started from a uh, really, really simple, just to maybe change some statuses, start building on, ta on, on top of that uh, here, status changing, uh, mapping the updates uh, name, uh, exchanging the comments. So you are able to, to handle the versions. And then of course, roll back if there is something um, that was configured wrong or, or, or something broke. So then always, uh, you're always able to, to roll back uh, one stage. Uh, great. So this was a scratch of the surface for one IO, uh, the user interface. Um, if you have any questions, uh, what are the capabilities, uh, um, or if there was another system um, that you would want to integrate, uh, this is just a demo. So just give us a shout out, uh, write us a, throw us an email, and our team is more than happy to support uh, and answer any of your questions uh, that you might have. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.